tired of boring or underpowered weapons in Baldur's Gate 3? Want to hide those awesome custom weapons or armor into specific chests? This video is for you. This is an overpowered weapon that I previously made for Kethrick with 10d6 damage. If you watched my prior video, you'd know that I spent a lot of time imagining how great a boss Ketrick would be. I made a Warhammer for him to show Ketrick Senpai how much I liked him. Let's unleash your creative destruction and make similarly epic loot for yourself, your friends, and the masses on Nexus mods. We're going to focus on placing weapons and boxes because mods that blend more seamlessly into the game are going to be a lot more popular. Like all my videos, we'll make this super easy so you can get to what you want to do more quickly. Let me know in the comments what you plan to make. For step one, download Polymath, a tool that I made to expedite mod creation before the official modding tools are released. Official tools are in closed beta for select modders, so they'll hopefully be ready soon. You can get Polymath from Nexus Mods and figure out how to install it following the prior video that I made in the video description. Play around with it because I added a lot of cool options like making a more complex class mod. For step two, make a new class mod with custom weapons or armor, following the guides from my prior video on how to do that. We'll use the best boss hammer that I made for Kethrick, but you can give the class custom armor too. Like the armor that I imagine Kethrick made out of staples and construction paper for show and tell with the absolute. Before making your mod, be sure to use the checkbox to place the equipment into the tutorial chest. Since this video is focused on weapon mods, step 3 is where we make our custom weapon mod only a weapon mod, working directly off what Polymath has already organized for you. Fortunately, this is super easy. All you have to do is delete the class mod specific folders, including class descriptions and progressions. You don't have to delete the entries in the localization file. Step 4 is where Polymath once again saves the day. You must place your custom weapon or armor into a container in the game world, which Polymath automatically does for you with the tutorial chest. Open up Stats Generated Treasure Table, and you'll see that your custom equipment is stored in the tutorial chest potions. Want to place it in another container or multiple ones like the bucket of fish on the beach? Let's see how to do that right now. Place the item in a different container. Change the container name to the one that you want. Fortunately, there are a few resources that list the code names for a variety of different chests, which includes a mod on Nexus Mods that is linked in the video description, along with the Baldur's Gate 3 wiki. Alternatively, to place your weapon in the camp chest, you can enter what's on the screen. To place the item in an additional container, copy the block of text that's already in treasure table and change the container's name to what you want. Want to add another custom item to one of your containers? Follow the template for each item as shown on the screen. Note that the capital I underscore before the name of your custom equipment is mandatory to make it work. Want to save time on finding the exact container that you want to place your equipment? You can save time by downloading the tutorial chest summoning mods that's available on Nexus by Westland. Step 5 is simply packaging your mod with the Baldur's Gate 3 Modders multi-tool and testing it. As you can see, everything works great. The best mods are those that blend seamlessly into the game. A Warhammer and a Bucket of Fish may not really make a whole lot of sense, but it's arguably more plausible than it coming with you when you're in a tentacle prison. Placing your custom equipment where you want in the container that you want is a great way to boost immersion, maximizing the chance of your mods standing out. Before going, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Baldur's Gate 3 modding content and cursed creations. While my uploading schedule will become less regular due to my new child and job, We'll continue going over awesome things that you can do with your games. Thanks for watching and Starship out. You truly forgot my power. You truly thought our bond as creator and creation was all that stopped you from killing me? Mm?